Guide uh, to New York City is uh, an attempt to disrupt the narrative of traditional guidebooks that focus on glitz and glamour and consumption and tell the story of the people of New York and their struggles to make this a livable city, <laughs> to make it a city that we can uh, claim rights to in terms of housing and labor and social justice. And uh, New York City actually continues to have some of the most um, the largest amount of public housing in the country, right? We are, we continue to be the most union dense city in the, in the country. And so the story of the real people of New York is an important intervention in an industry of guidebooks that really privileges capital and uh, corporate power over people power. So Ebinger's is a quintal, quintessential New York story. It's an old time bakery that uh, had a huge distribution on the East Coast um, and was known for its famous Brooklyn Blackout cake, which was a chocolate cake. The, the women who worked at the bakeries were called Ebinger girls, uh, and they were all white. During the 1960s, they're in the you know midst of lots of civil rights struggles and unemployment, struggles around unemployment. Um, Operation Unemployment and the Congress of Racial Equality Corps joined efforts to try to get uh, Ebinger Bakery to agree to hire black and Puerto Rican women to be Ebinger girls. But, you know, needless to say, the company didn't just, you know, roll over, so there had to be a fight around it, and there were there was a, a boycott of Avenger products, and those boycotts took place every week, every Saturday, mm -hmm. mostly at the bakery stores, and here at this truck depot uh, was one of the biggest actions where uh, activists sat down on the ground and locked trucks from actually um, being able to distribute uh, bake, baked goods. And so Avengers sat down at the table with the activists to talk about integrating their workforce. You know, in the end, uh, there was some racial integration into the Avengers uh, factory and also into the stores, but not enough. Um, and at the end of the day, the company, you know, uh, given changing times in the economy and also just the um, changes in the population, shut down. A lot of the information that we got for the book uh, came from the CUNY Digital History Archive, which is an incredible resource at the Grad Center. Um, I also teach in the sociology department at the Grad Center, so uh, having the Grad Center was an incredible resource of, of people and archives. Um, 